Hello guys and welcome to another TKG Games tutorial. Today we're going to be solving number spiral diagonals, which is problem 28 on Euler. Starting with the number 1 and moving to the right in a clockwise direction, a 5x5 five five spiral is formed as follow. It can be verified that the sum of the numbers on the diagonals is equal to 101. What is the sum of the numbers on the diagonals in a 1001 by 1001 spiral form in the same way? So. It took me roughly like seven plus minutes to figure out how the spiral was formed, right? So you start here and then you go to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and you jump here. Ten, go all the way down. Just a regular spiral. Um, but sometimes you don't see it, right? And then I look at the diagonals and I can see that the top right here, uh, you can get that by n squared. So I was like, hmm. There's probably a way that you can generate these numbers, right? There's a formula for it. I'm not a math major, so uh, it took me roughly about 24 plus hours to figure out um, the formulas to find each uh, diagonal. So for this one right here, I was able to get this one like fairly easy in the first 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, I saw this pattern here, and it would take me another. <clears throat> I don't know, four or five hours to figure this out. And the rest I figured out the next day um, after writing so many equations on my um, my whiteboard that I got here. Uh, I was able to come up with the uh, equations for this, all right? So for this part here, you have n squared and then you have um, n squared uh, minus n plus one, right? And then you have n squared um, minus 2n plus 2 and n squared um, minus 3n plus 3. There is a pattern there, actually, right? And it isn't until you get to that point where you figure out, you know what, duh, it, it kind of hits you. But let's go ahead and actually uh, program this. It's actually very short to do. And I'll just take you guys uh, step by step, all okay? right? So let's create a class. Now, let me go here and copy this because I'm lazy. Mm. So number spiral. All right. So here we have a class and let me close this out. Okay, so all we need is pretty much one method here. And I'm gonna make this one along the number spiral. And this is gonna take in our limit. So the limit that we wanna do is uh, 101. So it's All right, so now what I'm going to do is uh, give you guys the formula. So uh, what we do is we uh, derive the formula from the diagonals, right? All right, so the first one is going to be the top right, which everybody can see clearly, uh, which is going to be n squared. Then we have the top uh, le uh, left, and this is going to be n squared minus n plus 1. Then we have the bottom. Right, and let me just kind of indent this in such a way that it taps. Uh, yeah, so that would work. So we have n squared minus three n plus 
3 and then for the bottom left we have n squared minus 2 n plus 2. All right, so I'm going to clean this up a little bit. All right, so now that we have this, we can just uh, add by terms, right? So the final answer we get uh, four n squared minus six n plus six. And this is how we derive the actual answer for this solution. And then we have to loop through this um, 1001 times, all right? So, we need is a solution to hold, uh, we need a variable to hold the solution. So create a variable of the solution and this is gonna equal one L. All right, so the reason why we're doing one L is because uh, one is at the center, right? So we can include that. When we step outside, everything else uh, is gonna be in the range of, um, of, of threes, right? Plus two, right? So we are here and then um, we're gonna get uh, uh, we're gonna get three here. So we, we for here, what we do is we have three squared is nine, right? Then nine minus three is six. Six plus one, right, is going to be seven. So we get this part right here, and here we just have uh, three squared, and so forth. So we can add one because uh, we can have one um, in the uh, sequence because uh, it's it's a special case on its own. All right, so we have that. So next we create a variable. So we're gonna say var and spiral. It's gonna equal to three because that's the next number we're gonna start at. Do uh, spiral is less than or equal to the limit. Uh, spiral plus equals to two because the next number that we want is five. All right. Next, we want to do is we want to generate the solutions. We'll say solution plus equal to do uh, four times math dot power. And what we're going to do is we want to pass in the spiral and two. Then we want to go ahead and minus uh, six times n, oh my bad, six times spiral, <laughs> plus six. And this should be it for the solution. And what I wanna do right here is uh, return the solution. All right. Now we can create main, so public static, Void main string. All right, and then we need the limit. It's going to be equal to one zero zero, and we can just do SLT here and pass in the number spiral and the limit. And when we run this, we should get our final results. All right, guys, this is the answer for this solution. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good night. Bye-bye.